How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we'll be talking about one of the apps on Shopify being eComposer that is used to uh, build a landing page for your website or your online store. So we'll be talking about its key features, the pros and cons, the fundamentals, as well as how to use it and how to integrate it to your Shopify store. And lastly, a quick overview of whether it's worth it or not. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So right before we get into, into the topic, I just want to give you guys a quick overview about what exactly eComposer is and what it does for you and your store to help you get a better insight on whether you should get it or not. So to start things off, um, if you guys have used anything like uh, gem pages before, then it's pretty much the same deal. It's a website creator that you, uh, that you can easily use and configure to build your landing page. So the cool thing about this is um, there's absolutely no coding involved when you're using um, eComposer. It's a simple operation where you drag and drop items or elements that you want to add to your home or landing page. So it's pretty cool. Now picture this. You guys have are running a Shopify store <clears throat> online and you want to elevate it to the next level. So this pertains to your social credit, your uh, store credibility, um, social proofing, and you want your online presence to basically reflect your brand's unique identity. So normally customers um, engage effectively and drive the sales for the company. And that goes without saying. And that's where eComposer e steps in. It definitely helps in this aspect. So what exactly is eComposer and how does it work? So eComposer is a powerful tool designed to empower Shopify merchants with the ability to create highly customizable and engaging storefronts without the need for extensive coding knowledge. So it's essentially a drag and drop interface that allows um, you guys to design your storefronts with ease. So e -Composer, with eComposer, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Whether you guys want to tweak the layout of your homepage, showcase your uh, products in a visually stunning manner, or personalize the shopping experience for your customers, eComposer makes it all possible. Now, eComposer has completely transformed the way that uh, people manage their Shopify stores because now you can fully design unique storefronts that truly reflect your brand or your store's personality. And the best part is we can all do it without relying on developers. So with the use of this app, uh, you, you get full control, freedom, and flexibility to design your store, storefront. And the flexibility and ease that I'm talking about that we use in eComposer allows you to experiment with different designs, layouts, and ultimately helping you improve conversion rates and boost sales. So that's cool and all. And it goes without saying that in today's competitive e-commerce um, scene or landscape, having a visually appealing and user-friendly storefront is essential for success. Now eComposer uh, for Shopify uh, pretty much helps merchants achieve just that. So it gives them all the tools that they need to create a compelling online experience for their audience and customer base, customer base, sorry. So whether you guys are running a small business or are looking to establish your online presence or a seasoned e-commerce veteran aiming to take your new store to heights, eComposer for Shopify is the ultimate solution for ultimate solution for you. So let's actually talk about how we can integrate um, eComposer onto our Shopify store. So it's actually quite simple. Um, Assuming that you guys have your store set up and everything, and all of your products are registered onto your Shopify domain, you're ready to add um, eComposer e onto your Shopify. <clears throat> so to do so is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys want to do is you want to make sure that you're logged into your Shopify store or your store manager as an administrator. So it's this URL right here being admin.shopify.com. So once you guys are here, uh, there are actually two ways to access the uh, Shopify App Store, which is uh, where, we're, where we're looking to go. So you can either click on the search box, like so, and simply type uh, eComposer. So here it is. That's the easy way. Or you could simply click on the drop down for apps, like so, and click on Apps and Sales Channel. Now, this will redirect you to a new page where you get to manually configure all of your installed applications for Shopify. So here's what I have installed for my Shopify. And as you can see, um, eComposer isn't here yet. So to add it, we're going to click on Shopify App Store, like so. Wait for it to load. And if you guys don't see it right away, 
Um, cause this will actually pull up a list of all of the compatible tools and apps for Shopify. You can simply click on the search box like so, and just type down the name of the app that, are, that you want to install. So eComposer, here we are, Hit enter, and here's the page. So when we click on it, it's going to redirect us to their storm, uh, to their homepage. And the cool thing about eComposer is it's actually built for Shopify. Meaning to say that every built-in function for eComposer is meant to synergize with Shopify's interface. So the thing about um, a lot of the applications and plugins for Shopify is that uh, while they do have a free plan or a free trial, um, they also have paid plans that come with more features and flexibility of use. So it goes without saying that the paid ones are going to offer um, more features and all the bells and whistles that you'll need. But with a free plan, um, it comes with the fundamentals. However, it's a bit limited when it comes to uh, the quantity, is what I'm saying. So we're just simply going to click on install and basically uh, authorize it to integrate with our store. So let Shopify work its magic. So let's actually wait for this to load. Okay, so here we are. So once you guys are here, simply want to click on install. Wait for it to load. And right away, you'll see that there's a, okay, it just brought us to the um, onboarding step, but or, or onboarding process, but it's like we, I think we can skip this actually. Okay, so here we are. Once you're through that, I want to select the type of page that you want to edit. So in this case, since we're editing the landing page, we're going to select a template for it. So they're built-in ones. Um, if you want to go for a themed one, then you can definitely choose from here. And um, with the paid ones, you can get even more themes um, to use. But in my case, let's pretend that we're doing a tech store. So uh, we can go for this one. Actually, this one's a VIP only. So we can do we can go for a product headphone. I say this will work. Click on next. Page title, um, big sale. Start building and let it work its magic. And here you are, you get to decide the structure and layout of uh, how you want your front or your store page front to look. You can do this one, this can be the header, this can be one of the buttons to log in, uh, the about us section, so on and so forth. So let's actually edit something. Um, let's add a header here, click on plus, and then we're going to add a heading Let's do um, big sale. Okay, obviously you could do better than this, but uh, you get the idea. It's duplicates. Okay, I want to say duplicate, so never mind that. Text. Add a video embed, an Instagram uh, social handle link. So as you can see, like I said, drag and drop. It's pretty simple. Instagram right here. So you would input your um, Instagram handle right here for your store. So yeah, there you guys have it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.